Welcome back to the AutoCAD 2011 series of tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about different ways to view your drawing. Zoom in and zoom out and pan around your drawing so that you can get um, a little bit closer or zoom out as you need to as you're working. Uh, first let's begin talking about where we can locate some of these viewing options or viewing commands. If you go to your ribbon here and you go to the view palette you'll be able to see over here on the left uh, well actually this entire view palette consists of a lot of different view options but we're going to go through some of the basic ones first on the left hand side you'll see your pan command um, your orbit command and then right here are a lot of your different zoom commands as you click on that down arrow there you can access uh, the zoom commands we're going to start off with talking about the zoom and the different zoom options uh, you can access these zoom commands here uh, again by clicking that down arrow there's zoom extents zoom window previous real time all dynamic uh, scale center object zoom in and zoom out the ones that you will use most often are extents window uh, you'll use zoom, zoom previous and the real time zoom is probably the one that you'll be using the most uh, zoom all occasionally zoom dynamic that's actually comes from AutoCAD years and years ago zoom dynamic was a way to zoom uh, it's really not as useful anymore neither is zoom scale Zoom center you might use a little bit, um, zoom object you will, and zoom out have really been replaced by the real-time zoom. So we're probably going to skip over the zoom in and zoom out, the zoom center, zoom scale, and zoom dynamic. We're not going to go over those. If you want to go over those, uh, there's plenty of um, information out there, or you can go to the Autodesk uh, help tools uh, within your AutoCAD um, application and get some more information on those but again the ones that you're going to be using the most are the ones we'll go over today that's one area where you can get your your zoom command uh, the other one is over here in the navigation bar now this navigation bar if you're an LT there's going to be some of these objects that aren't available to you uh, because right now it's showing a 2d and 3d objects uh, and again an LT an AutoCAD LT you're not going to have the 3d um, the 3D options, so those are not going to be in your navigation bar. You also have over here is the view, the, excuse me, the view cube. When you're working in 2D, this view two, or excuse me, this view cube is really not very helpful to you. Um, and you can turn it off. A couple of different ways that you can turn it off. Um, if you go to your view tab, go over here to user interface and go over here to view cube you could turn that view cube off and that's going to turn it off in this drawing okay um, if you want to notice it's still here as an option if you want to get rid of it entirely you can go down to your navigation bar to the bottom right hand corner click there and then you could turn off your view cube excuse me view cube right there as well because we want I just want to show you the two-dimensional options right now we're not going to get into 3d and all that um, until much later. Right here, this is called your full navigation wheel, and there's a lot of options in there. You could play with it uh, if you want, um, but it is, again, really intended for three dimensional applications. Here's your pan command, and then right here, if you click on this down arrow below this little zoom button, these are the same options that you had over here on your ribbon. The same options exist in both in both areas. So this navigation window is a real handy little tool that uh, you can leave up all the time and quickly access your zoom commands. Now the orbit and the slow motion, I'm going to turn those off as well. Uh, so I'm going to click this button again down here on your navigation control. And I'm going to turn off steering wheel. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn off orbit. And I'm going to turn off show motion. Now I'm just left with the pan and zoom commands, which is what you're going to be using with 2D anyway, which is what we're going over. Now you could start your zoom command uh, simply by clicking on one of the options here, or what you can do is you can, well, what I'm used to, is just typing in Z on your command line and hitting enter. And then all of your command options, which are the same options that you see over here, all of these options are going to be shown on your command line. Uh, by default, real time, is uh, selected. First of all, let's talk about the zoom real time. I click on here and then go down to zoom real time. That's the option I want to select. What this is going to do is it's going to allow me to quickly go back and forth between my pan and my zoom. 
Notice uh, my icon here is it's got a little magnifying glass with a plus or minus. If you hold down your mouse key and pull back, it's going to zoom out. If you push up, again holding down my mouse key, it's going to zoom in. Okay. Now when I want to stop zooming in or zooming out, just let go of your mouse button. And if you need to, you can pan around your drawing by quickly, notice I'm still in my zoom command, by quickly hitting my right mouse button and that's going to bring up this little um, menu where I can quickly switch to pan, click on pan, and now I'm panning around my drawing. Again, I'm still in my zoom command. I can hit my right mouse button, bring up the menu, go back to zoom, zoom in. Now if I drag up, like I'm, I'm clicking my mouse button, I'm holding it down, I'm zooming in. If I run out of screen, I can let go, go back down here, click again, hold it down, and zoom in until I get to the area that I want. And then when I'm finished, I can right click, go to pan, go over here and pan around my drawing. Panning, I'm just picking a point, dragging, and letting go. Picking a point, dragging, and letting go. That takes some getting used to. When I'm finished with it, a couple of things I can do. I can either right click and click on exit, bring up that same menu and click on exit, or I can just, like any other command, like I taught you from the very beginning, just hit your escape key a couple of times and that'll get you out of the zoom command as well. So again, that's the zoom real time. Zoom real time again is where you can quickly zoom in and out, right click, go to pan, pan around, go back to zoom, zoom in and out, and when you're finished, hit this escape button here on your short menu by right clicking, or you can hit your escape key a couple of times and that'll get you out as well. So that's the zoom real time. Zoom extents, what zoom extents does is it'll zoom to the extents of all of the draw all of the items on your drawing that you've drawn. So now if I click on zoom extents right here, that's going to zoom out and bring into view everything in my drawing, anything that I've drawn. Now my drawing right now um, goes to the extents of just the walls here on this house that I've opened up. If I were to draw something out here, okay, so now my drawing, uh, the extents of my drawing goes all the way out here, doesn't it? So let's say I was zoomed back in and I wanted to do a zoom extents. If I click on zoom extents now, now the extents of my drawing are up here. If I erase that, click on zoom extents again, the extents of my drawing are here. So it's going to zoom to the extents of the items that I've drawn in my drawing. Okay, that's the zoom extents. Zoom window you may use, if you click on zoom window, it allows you to draw a rectangle around the area that you want to keep in view. So let's say for example I wanted to zoom in just on this master bedroom here. Um, one option that I have is obviously the zoom real time which we showed a minute ago or I can quickly just select zoom window and it's going to start this command and what it's going to do is it's going to say specify first corner. Just like just draw an imaginary rectangle, that's what you're doing. So I'm going to pick right here and then I'm going to come down here, pick the opposite corner again, just like a rectangle, and that's going to zoom in on that area that I've selected. Okay, so that's the zoom window. Draw, just draw uh, an imaginary rectangle. The um, zoom previous, this is very handy as well. If you click on zoom previous, what that's going to do is zoom to the previous view. So like right there, like you had just seen, I had zoomed in to this area. If I want to go back, if I want to zoom out or zoom back out to where I was, I could just click on zoom previous and that will get me back out. Oh my God, I didn't get out of my zoom window command, sorry about that. Click on zoom previous and that will get me back out uh, to where I was or to the view that I was in. Uh, zoom real time, we talked about zoom all. Zoom all is going to zoom to the extents of your drawing that you've defined as your drawing area. Now we haven't gotten into setting up drawings yet, but when we set up drawings, uh, when we talk about setting up drawings, you're going to set up your, the limits of your drawing. Um, in other words, like a house like this, the limits might start at 0, 0 and end at um, you know, 150 feet in the X and uh, 100 feet in the Y. So if I were to do a zoom all, what that would do, it would zoom to the area of the drawing or to the limits, I should say, of the drawing that I've defined. So here, just by doing a zoom all, I can tell my limits I set up uh, previously somewhere around this area here. So that'll so instead of zooming to the extents, 
of the objects that I've drawn, the zoom all will zoom to the um, extents of the limits that I've set up when I set up my drawing initially. Again, we're going to go over that a little bit later. Zoom dynamic, zoom scale again, zoom center, you're not going to use those very much. Wouldn't worry about those. If you want to go learn more about them, you can, um, but I'm going to skip them just because it's just not, they're not very valuable any longer. Uh, zoom object is, however, zoom objects allow, allows you to quickly select an object and it'll zoom into that object. So let me show you there. If I click on zoom object, and let's say I wanted to zoom in on this dining room table, I can just pick on that. Notice AutoCAD's asking me to select an object. I'm going to go pick on the dining room table, and it, I've got one object found. If I wanted to select another object, I could, but I'm okay with just that one object. So I'm going to hit enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to zoom into that object and bring that object into full view. Now, if you have a wheel mouse, um, what you can do is set your wheel now, mouse so that as you roll your mouse backwards, you zoom out. And as you push your, your wheel forward, you zoom in. If you hold down your wheel, you get the pan action. So the a wheel mouse is very, very handy in AutoCAD because by default, it'll allow you to zoom in, zoom out, and quickly pan around your drawing. Um, very, very handy as well. So here I'm going to go back over to here. I'm going to say zoom extents, and I've zoomed to the extents of my drawing. So those are the zoom commands, the two dimensional zoom commands at least, uh, kind of in a nutshell. Um, hopefully that'll help you as you work around your drawing and are, and are needing to get into zip areas. Um, you know, so that you can see your objects a little bit better. Also, before I let you go on this, um, I personally don't use this navigation bar very much. Um, I, like I said from the very beginning, I like having my left hand always on my keyboard, my right hand um, on my mouse, and I learn command aliases. So for the zoom command, uh, as I'm working, I can quickly just hit the Z with my pinky, uh, hit the space bar with my thumb, uh, hit W uh, for window, hit my space bar for enter, and then zoom in here. And then I can just quickly hit Z again, and then E for extents, uh, Z again, uh, W for window, zoom in here, Z again, P for previous. So just using my left hand on my keyboard, I can quickly um, move around my drawing, go to zoom extents, zoom window, zoom extents. And as you, you know, obviously I've been doing this for a while, so I'm pretty proficient at doing that and just using my left hand. But if you can teach yourself to do that, and that's just not with the zoom command, but with all commands, uh, you'll become very, very proficient and very, very fast at moving around and working around your drawing. So I definitely recommend practicing with, with the uh, left hand there on your keyboard. Well, that's all for the zoom commands. I appreciate you watching, and I look forward to visiting with you in the next tutorial. Thank you.